I think we made it after about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, we'd made 111. So we knew it was going to, um, you know, take some take some toll on the second half. But you know, we came into the, came to the, shed, the sheds at the half time, and um, everybody was pretty uh, pretty buzzing. So you know, we just needed to make sure that we could ride that wave and see if we could get through it. Some some difficult times, and um, you know, we we had we had some opportunities in the second half to actually put some pressure, and we couldn't get get our set piece going. So uh, that put us under pressure again, and then you know. 70 minutes or 75 minutes, it's still 17-8, and then they run away with it with two two tries to finish it off. So that was disappointing. But mate, I can't I can't fault the the boys for how they put themselves about tonight defensively. I mean, it was fantastic. So, and that's you know that's more about who we are. You know, the, the fact that uh, you know we'll keep fighting to the end, and and even when the odds are against us, you know what I mean. So, uh, but I thought I thought I was I was really proud proud of how they went uh, tonight, certainly defensively. Next question. Oh, good. <laughs> From the front. Merab, you were right in the heart of the action. What, what are your thoughts after that 80 minutes? Well, we fought, we fought, hard, we fought hard. We played good defense. Attack wasn't really our strong side on this game and set piece didn't work out as we wanted it to be. But I'm proud of my team because we fought, we fought till the end. It's very unfortunate that we got two tries, two quick tries at the end. And that's that's basically the difference between very good teams and not so good teams. I mean, like that's the difference between Australia and us because they play stronger teams all the time, they're Australian, basically they executed what they wanted. But I'm still uh, proud of what we've done and I hope to do better in the future and to have a more successful World Cup in, in France. <laughs> You'd go all night, Andrew. Uh, well, got to make the most of it. Yep. Um, I just guess I just wanted to ask about in terms of what Mary mentioned um, uh, for the set pieces, particularly the lineouts. Um, do you think that was more a question of the, the the conditions with the wind, maybe the fatigue, um, or just an off night? No, I mean I think uh, lineout Australia is a very strong team. But I'm pretty sure that their analysis is one of the best in the world. So they've done their analysis and they knew what we were going to do. And in the scrum, as Milton said yesterday, before the game, they improved a lot. They not used to be best team in the scrum, but I reckon now they're one of the best team in the world in the scrum. So, yeah, they improved, so now we need to improve. So next time when we face them on the next World Cup, we can offer them a tougher game. Um, hi, uh, Milton. Uh, could you give us, give us uh, an idea of what you thought of the Wallabies tonight? They're probably going to take a bit of a slating for that because they didn't. Do you think that's kind of disrespectful to what the performance that Georgia put in? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think if they're going to take a, a slating from their um, from their media, I, I think that's definitely disrespectful to us. Um, as Mayor I've said, they're a very good side. They've got good set piece now. Their, their line out's very good. Even their mall now is, is they've developed that over the last uh, wee while, and you know they've they've got a very good scrum. So you know that's uh, you know for us to if you look at those components and then you look at uh, their quality players that they have and then you measure tier one against tier two, uh, you know we played pretty well tonight. So so again, um, you know I think if they get a slating, certainly it will be disrespectful to Georgia. That's for sure. So I hope they don't get a slating. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, no, thank you. Thank you very much. No, I just want to say something. First of all, personally, me, I want to thank uh, Chad McInmara and Simon Pope because, as you guys probably know, I was injured before before the World Cup on a preparation game. I got injured, and my injury was kind of impossible to get back. But those two guys is one of the 
best professionals in the world. They did, they basically did impossible, and I'm, I played three games. So I want to thank them. And at the end, if you guys know, this, there was the Milton's last game for the Georgian Georgia. So I want to say thank you to Milton because he's done a lot of things for Georgia. He has big big influence in developing of Georgian rugby squad. And personally, me, uh, thank you, Mel. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And if not you, I wouldn't be here sitting here now. So thanks a lot. You're welcome, mate. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thanks, guys. No troubles.